Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to be going over how to unlock the Xander skin in Fortnite. So as you can see, I do own this skin from doing the refer a friend. Now, this friend can't play Battle Royale for over like 150 hours or something like that in like the past month. So it has to be a, one of your friends that don't play the game too often. Now, um, when do you find your referred friend? Um, so once you find your referred friend, um, you should be at this website right here. You can scan this QR code in your game. So hop into Fortnite, go to your friends list. There's a little tab here that says refer a friend. Click that, scan the QR code, or you could just, um, type in refer a friend and then it'll take you right there on Google, Safari, whatever you guys want to search it up on. You can do it from there. But, um, yeah. So once you are in the website, you want to pick a refer a friend, you want to refer a friend. Once you join them, you can start doing tasks with that friend. Now, the first task is to uh, first add the friend. Okay, so that's the first task. The, the first task, you get this spray right here. It is the spray right here for referring a friend. That's the first part, to add a friend on um, the website. Once you do that, you'll get this spray. Now. After that, you need to play a game with your referred friend, um, and this is the reward you get for doing that. Um, you're gonna get these, uh, this back bling right here for referring a friend and playing a match with them. So this is the pick at, or back bling, I mean, looks pretty clean. And for g surviving 60 storm phases, you get this pickaxe. Um, right here, you get this pickaxe for surviving 60 storm phases. Pretty clean. And for going up 60 levels with your referred friend. So, you gotta move up 60 levels with your referred friend. You and your referred friend both have to move up 60 levels. So, as you can see, I'm level 339, so that was really hard for me. The lower level you are, the easier it will be. So, if you're a low level, you this, this is gonna be a breeze for you. But for tryhards and sweats, this, this is gonna be really hard. So, you have to move up 60 levels, and then you have to wait for your referred friend to um, go up 60 levels also. So once you both move up 60 levels together, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be together, but I mean, you guys both have to go up 60 levels. So once you both are up 60 levels, you shout, you should get this skin right here. And he comes with a style too, mask off as well as mask on. But I'm going to be going over how to do this, like, like a piece of cake. It's going to be so easy if you guys just follow my steps. So basically to add a friend, go to the website, um, there's this little bar that says refer a friend click that add the people that are eligible Make sure to play a game with them once you add a friend you will get the spray. That's easy. No, no work at all. Just add a friend and Then after that you're going to need to play a match with with your friend a little bit trickier You need to get them on play with them Still pretty easy, you know, just play a match with them just one match That's it then you um, then after when you're done with that you're going to need to survive 60 storm phases. Now this is where it starts getting really hard. You're going to need to, um, basically, I recommend just camping, but I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't always work like that. So, if you, could, I don't know if it works in Team Rumble, but you guys could try Team Rumble, let me know if it does work, and let others know, but you're going to have to survive 60 storm phases, okay, and then, you're gonna have to get like that that's pretty easy. Just camp, just camp, I recommend. Unless you're like cracked out of the game, you guys can go out and destroy people. But um yeah. And then you're gonna have to get like I think it's forty some kills with your referred a friend. It's either like forty or eighty kills with your referred friend. Pretty easy. Um I mean that's not much. That maybe may take you guys a few days, that took me like a day. It wasn't that hard. But, um, and then for the hardest challenge, I actually have something to go over. So, it's to get the skin, you have to level up 60 times with your referred friend. Here's what I recommend, guys. Let me go to my click solos right here. Uh, come on, come on, what is it doing? Here we go. Alright, now we can look at the challenges. So, you got these vibing quests. Do these. These give 
hella XP. These, this is a great way to level up. Do these challenges. I have them all done, so I have nothing to worry about because I did them all. Do your daily bonus goals. Your daily bonus goals give you around like 80,000 XP from just completing these. Um, I mean, it's it's crazy, but do your daily quest. Do your weekly quest. These give so much XP. Your weekly quests are probably the most important thing out of this all. Because once you complete um, a certain amount, it'll start giving you 43,000 XP per every bunch you do. So, usually it's every, like every 7 challenges, you'll get a 43,000 XP bonus. And that's a really big bonus, uh, depending on how high or low you are in your level. So as I said earlier, I'm level 339, so that's not much to me because I need like 200,000 XP just to move up to my next level. So that's going to be pretty, di not too much, you know, but it still helps like so much. And as you see, I still have a few of these to do, so I still got to work on those. But um, do those. Milestones, another big help. Um, they give you 5,000 XP per every single uh, one you do. And as you see, each one has 20. So as you see, the for, as for an example, the first one is destroy objects or structures with a ripsaw launcher. And I got 20 out of 20 of that done. I only need 95 more structures broken until I complete that challenge for good. And so whatever 20 times 5,000 is, that's how much XP I got for just from that. So just this alone gives you 100,000 XP. And yeah, I know what you're thinking that... Either you're thinking that's a lot, or you're thinking that's like nothing. But, it's roughly easy. It's really easy. Just destroy structures or objects with a ripsaw launcher. You need 4,000 to do 20 out of 20. That's really easy. And then you need to open cash registers, which is really hard. There's not too many cash registers around. I only opened 112 this whole season. And half the time, I don't even open them. I just break them. And then, the next one is travel distance in a bowler. I got 14 out of 20 for that one. Travel distance while riding a boar or wolf. Another very easy one. 14 out of 20 on that one. I only have four of these left. Look at this. 20 out of 20 complete bounties. 20 out of 20 damage opponents. 20 out of 20 destroy objects while just using a car. It just, the list just goes on. Look at all these I completed. All 20 out of 20, guys. Look at that. Each group of these you complete, if you complete all 20 out of 20, that's 100,000 XP for each one you do. So that helps a lot. Also, these snap challenges. They give you no XP. Don't worry about um, the snap challenges. I mean, obviously worry about them, but don't think they're going to give you XP. They're they're not. All right. Um, they don't give you XP. It's not worth doing them unless you're grinding for the skin, which I think everyone is. Now, f to do these challenges, the ripsaw launcher, land this barn right here, up there north of logjam i'm not going to show you how to do all the other challenges they're pretty straightforward guys but that's just some i think you guys may struggle with the ripsaw launcher let's see um cash registers you can find them near all the gas stations ballers find that at rave cave uh travel distance while riding board well if you find those all over the map but i mean also make sure to talk to npcs in the game it gives you like 500 XP per NPC you talk to, especially if you're the first one in the match to talk to an NPC, you get around 1,000 XP. Um, also, I recommend upgrading the gun each game. So as soon as you land, land at um, a gas station or something, somewhere that has an upgrade bench, be the first one in the match to upgrade a weapon. That gives you like another 1,000 XP. And in my opinion, it's worth it. That's what helped me get to 60 levels and to get the Xander skin in Fortnite. Now... This skin is really cool. I really do like it. If you guys uh, like the skin, make sure to drop um, a like and also subscribe. Ring the bell for post notifications. If you guys found out this this video helped you guys in any way possible, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I did a lot of like research into the challenges. I, I had to look up the challenges too because I already completed it and I forgot the challenges. So this video was a pretty, a pretty hard video to make. I had to do some math and stuff. But, I mean, yeah, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.